EV enthusiasts beware. The most expensive brick on the block, Tesla, shares are lower ahead of the company's announcement. GM has just revealed their all new zero emission engine that promises to make electric and internal combustion vehicles obsolete. This radical technology is set to revolutionize the automotive world and drive us towards a completely eco-friendly future of cars. Let's explore this innovative concept as GM CEO announces the engine that will change the world. What exactly is this new technology? General Motors has been seeking an alternative to electric vehicles for years, and their search has led them to compressed air technology. While compressed air was used in the 19th century, primarily for mine locomotives and trams in cities like Paris, the technology was eventually abandoned in favor of internal combustion engines due to their higher efficiency. In the early 2010s, the French car manufacturer Peugeot experimented with combining compressed air and internal combustion engines to create a hybrid technology that offered eco-friendliness without the need for batteries. Although these prototypes didn't advance beyond testing, they garnered interest in the automotive industry, particularly from GM. Recognizing the potential, GM began developing compressed air technology alongside EVs and internal combustion vehicles. Realizing that significant advancements were necessary for this technology to compete in the market. Compressed air vehicles operate differently from conventional engines and EVs. Instead of using a piston driven engine or electric motor, they employ pneumatic engines, which are mechanically similar to internal combustion engines. In a pneumatic engine, pistons connected to springs are moved by pressurized air introduced into the chamber. This pressure pushes the piston to its maximum length before the air is released, and the spring returns the piston to its original position, completing the cycle. The similarity to combustion engines enables the use of existing technical solutions, reducing development time and cost. Compressed air engines offer notable benefits, including being 100% pollution-free since they use only pressurized air, eliminating environmental harm during operation. Additionally, they are cheaper to produce as they do not require rare earth materials like batteries or electric motors. Powering them is more eco-friendly than EVs, which depend on electricity often generated from fossil fuels. Their manufacturing process is also simpler and less resource intensive, as they endure lower pressures compared to gasoline or diesel engines. Furthermore, their running costs are exceptionally low, with compressed air being more affordable and easier to acquire than fuel or electricity. Despite these advantages, compressed air engines face significant drawbacks. They are underpowered due to the low energy density of pressurized air, resulting in poor torque and reduced usability in real world applications. The engines require high RPMS to function efficiently, leading to excessive wear on components. Lubrication is also more challenging compared to internal combustion engines. The most critical issue is their inefficiency. Prototype compressed air vehicles typically have a limited range of around 140 kilometers, less than 100 miles. These challenges have limited the adoption and development of compressed air technology, making it situational and impractical for widespread use. You would have to fill it up constantly, and second of all, you couldn't reliably go on a moderately long trip, let alone a long one. Finally, there's the question of safety. Most prototypes used regular steel air tanks for storing pressurized air due to a lack of a better solution. This meant that the car, which was already gutless in itself, would be prominently less potent due to increased weight while also being susceptible to explosions if the tanks were damaged. After all, you were sitting on a bunch of pressurized gas. That said, GM has been working extremely hard on ridding this technology of its glaring issues, and they have been quite successful at it. First of all, the problem of the car's power has been solved with the introduction 
of new high pressure air tanks. These high pressure tanks compress the air even further, which translates into higher cylinder pressure. As a result, GM's new compressed air prototype achieves performance figures that are pretty comparable to regular gasoline engines. Sure, the torque isn't quite there yet. However, they're still powerful enough for a normal commuter vehicle. Furthermore, GM has also found a way to extend the vehicle's range. How? By turning the vehicle's chassis into one large compressed air reservoir. However, this requires the vehicle to be specifically developed with compressed air engines in mind. This includes specific reinforcements or even the usage of composite materials such as fiber reinforced thermoplastics. This allows the vehicle to retain exceptionally low weight while also being much safer than using regular high pressure tanks as crashing and rupturing the reservoir won't lead to an explosion, no matter what. When will this technology be implemented? Well, the answer to that question is incredibly complex. However, there is a very solid possibility of these engines entering mass production in the next few years. This is because, as can be concluded, GM has truly invested itself in making this engine a reality. They keep researching and developing solutions to many existing problems and are incredibly devoted to creating a truly fantastic product that would revolutionize the automotive world entirely. Plus, the general mechanical familiarity and similarity to internal combustion engines allow GM to develop such engines much faster than if they were starting from scratch. That said, it would be naive of us to believe that GM is doing this out of the goodness of its heart, as it is not. GM understands all too well that the days of internal combustion engines are numbered and they still don't have a foothold in the EV market. As a result, GM is looking for a way to create a new market of vehicles that would allow them to dominate other car manufacturers while also making obsolete both internal combustion engines and EVs to further secure their hypothetical position as the leader of the new automotive age. But as good as this all sounds, this isn't the first time a major manufacturer tried implementing compressed air into vehicles. As we've already mentioned, Peugeot about 10 years ago made a hybrid version of their Peugeot 2008 crossover. However, instead of using electric energy, this vehicle combined an internal combustion engine with compressed air. The result was a powertrain that merged the power and torque of an internal combustion engine with the ecological component of compressed air engines.